Today, I'm going to show you how to make a conduit. A conduit is a beacon-like block that provides conduit power and will also attack hostile mobs while underwater. You can see when you go into your inventory, conduit power displays much like any buffs that we will see in the game, whether they're negative or positive, but there it is right there. Craft one of these, we're going to need a few things. The first and most important thing we're going to need is a heart of the sea. To locate a heart of the sea, you can find them in shipwrecks and ocean ruins through the use of buried treasure or by giving raw cod or salmon to a dolphin, which will lead you to the closest buried treasure, shipwreck, or ocean ruins. The other thing you're going to need are eight nautilus shells. You can get these from either fishing or from killing drowned. Sometimes you can see them floating around carrying them so if you take them out with a looting three sword you should be good to go once you have your heart of the sea and nautilus shells you can put them in the crafting table with the heart of the sea in the middle and the nautilus shells around the outside and then you have your conduit but now that you have it it's not going to do much except just sit there it doesn't give you any sort of power buffs or anything like that so we need to activate it and we do that with prismarine Prismarine is relatively easy to get. All you have to do is locate an ocean monument, take it over, and then you can mine it or take out the guardians to get shards so you can craft it yourself. And then when you have your Prismarine blocks, all you have to do is place your conduit in the water and you're going to make sure that there are two spaces of air underneath it with a block of Prismarine just like this. So we're going to come out from the side by two on either side and we should have a strip of Five going across then we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it on every single side as you can see the prismarine is almost in place and the conduit is starting to draw power which I think is a really really cool particle effect but once we add this one it activates and we can see the heart of the sea texture right in the center and then it has this kind of little heartbeat going on if you can hear it but this is not the only formation that you can put prismarine in around a conduit to activate it let me show you two more so you can also take this exact same formation and have it horizontal instead of vertical and the conduit is still activated and working. And here is another way that you can set up your prismarine blocks so you can activate your conduit. The more prismarine blocks that you add, it does extend the range of where it will activate its power. The conduit's power only works if you are in water or even in rain on the surface. So if it's raining quite a bit in your world, this is a great addition but you have to be in some sort of water. You cannot be on dry land or else the conduit power shuts off. The conduit power affects all players it is in contact with and it restores oxygen, gives underwater night vision, and it will increase your mining speed as well. So we get a little bit of aqua affinity there. Another added benefit of the conduit is that if you are doing underwater work, it will deal damage to hostile mobs such as drowned and guardians such as this guy right here. And they'll take about probably four hits until they are taken out, but I love the particle effects again with them. It kind of reminds me of the Eye of Ender, but looks really cool. All right, guys, that is all the time I have for today. If you guys like this video, please consider hitting that like button and hitting that subscribe button. It really does help the channel out. And all the links to my social media are in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Always remember the most important thing is to be odd. Wash your hands. Peace, guys.